Greetings everyone, I'm the Geek Master and welcome to part 2 of my Pokemon card collection videos focusing on Generation 3, Ruby and Sapphire. Um, if you watch part 1, you'll know that I'm a big Pokemon fan. Again, look at all this up here. But the train card game is the thing I love. I've kept it on and off throughout the years. I'm doing it properly now, starting with roughly like it's just in the Generation 8 and early 17. Um, 2020, not 17. Uh, but I collected in the old days. I actually collected when Gen 3 came out. I remember buying the original decks. I bought one, my brother bought one. Pretty sure I would have had Ruby and Sapphire because that's the game we went with. And I like red, he likes blue. I mean, come on, red. Um, Anyway, I really love the look of the Gen 3 cards, the design of them, as well as the Pokemon themselves. And I particularly like the holographics, not just the holographics, but the reverse hollows, which I kind of went through in the old folder, the different styles. And I also said that I had some new cards to go in there and it's good to pick up the video. So that's what I'm going to focus on here. There's four cards, three of which are reverses, one which is a normal hollow. There should have been one more reverse. It was advertised as hollow. It reverse hollow. It looked at the picture on eBay. It wasn't. Unfortunately, I don't think I get my money back because I can't see any option to claim it back somehow. Um, and no, I can't do it through PayPal. I checked. Um, but I've seen the card again for a couple of quid. So that definitely looks reverse hollow. You can actually see the holographic layer. So I'll probably buy that and it'll go with another one I've got on the way. Both of them are the same Pokemon as well, but they're different cards. But that's for another issue when we've got a couple more of these and we'll do another pickup video. I'm going to focus on these four for now. And I'll just show you each one and talk about each one a little bit. Starting with Oranberry, which is from the original Ruby Sapphire set, as shown by that picture down there. They've only just stopped using the pictures to identify sets, as with the first Scarlet and Violet set, which came out what just over two months ago, I think it was, in the March. In the game, this heals 10 HP if you attach it to a Pokemon. In here, if you have at least two damage counters, it lets you remove two. And as you may have seen in the last video, the original Reverse Hollow for Gen 3 had this card out but near body. The holographic, I can show you a bit there, and you can see like, the holographic in the center, but not on the picture. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. It's actually very holographic. But yeah. Oranberry, that's the first one, and it's part of a bundle. I paid three pounds for both of these, which is really good. So you could normally look at these three, four quid per reverse hollow, or so I'm really happy with that. And it's another trainer from the Ruby Sapphire set, but this one is Switch, which is where you can switch your active and bench Pokemon without paying the uh, retreat cost. I think the lack of text actually helps amplify how holographic this and shiny this really is. It's like really shiny. It's a card that came in Gen 1, but it's obviously not Gen 1 art. It's got Torchic for one thing, which is Gen 3. But really love it. And I think if you put it side by side, even just putting like that, I mean, if you move them, you can see it, but side by that, this one is way more holographic. So they're two of my reverse hollows. This last one, I've actually got the non-holographic version. I Sorry, the non-reverse hollow version. I recognise it. It's from, I think it's the last Gen 3 set. So we've gone from the first set to the last set. It's Power Keepers. It is Reverse Glalie. Who, by the way, is one of my favourite Pokemon of all time. Like, second or third behind Magneton. Um, you can see it's got the holographic picture. And it's got the set label for Power Keepers right here. Which is what the final Reverse Hollow art was. With the picture, with the set logo there. I think these are the coolest looking ones, actually. It's nice to see the holographic picture. And the set logos look really cool in the corner. I mean, I really like how holographic these are. But I think it's that. I think it's the, uh, the set art that really shows these. Especially hold it like that. Also, it's a very cool, glowy picture. I think that's probably... If not the uh, official Glalie art from Gen 3, it's very, very close. It's got that same style from Kane Sukumori. 
Uh, yeah. Love that Pokemon. Love that card. I think I've actually got another Glalie Reverse Hollow. I think I sort of showed it in the first video. But I might have to get more. Assuming there are more than two Glalie in Gen 3. Probably. Or get Snow Run. We've got Glalie, we've got to get Snow Run. Okay. One last card. This one is an actual Hollow. It's not a Reverse Hollow. So, Reverse Hollows could basically be any card in the set. It could be a holographic, it could be a non-holographic rare, it could be a card that's not even a rare. It could be an energy, it could be a trainer, it could just be a common Pokemon. And it would be Reverse Hollow featuring the holographic style for Reverse Hollow at the time. Be it that with the set and the picture, or that where the card is. Or the in-between one, like Fire Red, I showed in the previous video, and I'm sure I'll get another one to show some other time. The hollow ones are the ones where... The picture is hollow and they were rarer. You were guaranteed a reverse hollow in each pack, I think. You are now, I think you were then. Um, well, if not, I had a good few for when I was younger. I didn't get that many packs, so. But the re hollow rares, you didn't get every pack. You were guaranteed a rare, it's just whether it ended up being hollow or not. More likely or not, it wouldn't be. I've got, as you saw in the video, a few hollows. And this one cost me three, three fifty, something like that. It's actually very good condition because there's a couple of little marks on it. But for the price I paid of three, three fifty, considering I think the rest of them were like eight, nine quid, I'm really happy. It is from the original no it's not it's not the original Ruby Sapphire set. I think it's Dragon, which I think was the third set. It's either second or third set. And it is Roselia. And as you can see, the picture is holographic. You've got the holographic, you've got the small dots. That's what the hollow style was. Um, also, a cool thing is it's got this down here, which was for the e-reader. You'll see that like even the switch, etc. I had this because it's from the e-reader set. However, as far as I can tell, um, reverse hollows did not have this bit on it, which is what was read by the e-reader. Um, reverse hollows had the E mark, didn't have this bar reading bit. Non hollows, sorry, non reverse hollows, bit normal hollow or a normal card that's not holographic, did. Um, in fact, this is the card that was supposed to be holographic but wasn't. And you can see it's got this little bit down here, which would have been red, whereas. I've seen pictures of the reverse hollow. It doesn't have that. It's holographic with the background here, but it doesn't have this bar bit. So that's another way I found out to tell. As you can tell, this does have it, showing that it's an actual hollow rather than a reverse hollow. We also know it's Ruby and Sapphire, and if it was holographic, it would have the same style as that. So, yeah. But this is another holographic holographic to add, which I am going for, as well as the reverse hollows. It's just it's a lot easier to get the reverse hollows. And to be fair, in a lot of cases, I think they look cooler. So there's a couple of marks. You can see there's, don't know when you see it, there's a little scuff here or a slight bend in the corner. And sort of a couple of mini creases down here. But to be honest, I've only just noticed the crease looking at it. And if you look at this without, no, without really focusing on that corner, you don't even notice that. I've seen cards where it's much worse. And the back's pretty clean as well. So, for three, four quid, I'm really happy with this. But, yeah, that's four new hollows, reverse hollows to add to my Gen 3 collection. We've got one more on the way. Probably going to get the other version of this I've seen. So, that'll be two, which also tells you that the other one's ski. Um, but I'll probably try and get a couple more after that before I do another video. But I might have a video of some other promo cards I've got coming potentially with the new Scarlet Violet Power Day Evolve set. So keep an eye out for that. But there will be more Pokemon card content and I will be going into Yu-Gi-Oh as well, such as the legendary collection box I said there. Other way, I apologise this droned on a bit. First one I just wanted to explain a couple of bits. And I guess there is the mini rant about the uh, ski. But you know what, it happens. So it's only a couple of quid I lost. 
But I did get a call during for his ski car, which I don't think I really have. So, I suppose it's not a total loss, is it? Anyway, thank you for watching. Let me know which of them was your favourite cards. If there's any cards from Gen 3 you think I should really look out for. And I will see you all later. Goodbye.